Hi, I'm George with Amateur Logic. We've got our friend with us today out here at LaFleur's Bluff State Park. It's uh, Ray. Say hello, Ray. Hello, everybody. Ray, N9JA with ICOM America. Beautiful scenery here at this park. Nice breeze, although they're, they're giving us heat warnings and sweating to the right of me. And I'm Tommy from AmateurLogic.tv, November 5, Zulu November Oscar. We're out here in the park. We couldn't do field day. This is where we were going to do field day this year. That just didn't work out for us, so we're back to do it anyway. We, we couldn't be stopped. No, sir, not at all. And, man, we, we've been here since about 9 o'clock this morning. It's about 1. About 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We've got one two three four we got five antennas set up two sitting here on the tabletop been playing around with each one of them uh worked a couple of contacts on the iaru contest and then you guys were setting up the cameras the lighting mm -hmm. and making sure everything was in frame so this has been an interesting production and we're recording in front of a live audience we are an audience of one We've got Drew over there, uh, KM4DLU. I hope I got that right, Drew. All right. So if you hear somebody clapping. Or laughing. Yeah, or laughing. Um, it's not a soundtrack. No, it's not. It's, <laughs> we'll have to give him credit. So, uh, Let's see. Well, you brought one uh, main player with you today. Yes, sir. Let me wake it up here because we're, we're running on the battery. And we had it on it. Uh, I think we had it on NPR earlier listening to the radio station while we were setting up. So we got two thirds of the battery left. I'm gonna check something here. Others, information. So this one shows about half of the battery being left. We played on 10 watts as well. So a trusty seven amp hour bio inno lithium iron phosphate battery as well. That'll go a little while. It will. Okay, so first I'm, antenna up. What are we going to do? Well, it's not much about the antennas themselves. It's more about just playing around with them. And I think you and Tommy will cover some of them a little bit later mm -hmm. uh, on an amateur logic. But the way, I, the way I look at them, three of them are what you would consider POTA, parks on the air. And then three of the antennas would be more considered for soda work. So summits on the air. One of the interesting things, okay, uh, before we started shooting, I worked KK6 Papa out of California. And then my buddy Angel, Whiskey Papa 3 Radio out of uh, uh, Puerto Arecibo, Rico. Puerto Rico. So pretty decent. And then on field day from home, I worked K1IR using uh, some of these antennas and got good coverage on them. Yeah. Yeah, I've been pretty pleased with what I've seen so far. Now, one thing I have noticed, though, it takes a lot more finesse to break in on 5 watts than it is on 10. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that you were, you were like, engaging the linear, it seemed like, almost there when you pumped it up to 10 watts. Yeah, I earlier just couldn't get through with the 5 watts, but put on 10. And a lot of it is getting to hear the rhythm of the operator on where you can where you can sneak in there and at least get part of your call sign that they can hear and it was fortunate that angel recognized my call and he's like uh n9j ray is that you yeah so that kind of helps you get their attention as well when they recognize your call sign well i want i wanted to show you guys i mean right now this was angel's frequency but it doesn't sound like he's on the air right now Right. But come here to the function, turn off the noise blanker, listen to the noise. Oh, oh wow. wow. Really effective noise blanker. You couldn't work here without that. No. And I've actually got the noise reduction turned off at this point. We're going to cover a few of the things that have not been covered in either our video podcast or some of the others that are out there um, seems like units have been coming over from Japan this is a Japanese version and just to show you 
when I tune up, well, look at that jump. There's 146. Oh, wow. It goes yeah. to 430. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Japan that's... does not have two meter repeaters. Okay. And that's why you probably don't want to buy a radio that was manufactured for a different country. Right. right. Now, I mentioned earlier we were listening to the, the FM radio station. Hey, welcome back to our camp house here at Kinder Outdoors. Sure glad you're. So, nice loud audio. Yeah. Uh, spectrum scope here. Bring it over to the center mode. Oh, so you're seeing three stations there. Yes, sir. Hopefully that's not... So we can change the span as well. So plus or minus, there's one meg, plus or minus 500k, that's why we were seeing three. Yeah. Yeah. Along with that, airband frequencies. That's cool. And then your general coverage. Or you can f direct frequency input. If you get accustomed to what you're doing with your um, 7300, 7610, it's all going to feel exactly the same. Let's take a look at the modes. There again, data mode. Mm -hmm. So you'd have your USB-D, go over to CW. And what's, what I like is this weekend that we chose to shoot, since we knew field day would be busy, this is the IARU contest weekend. Yeah. So they're not just contesting phone only or CW only, they're doing both. So. Yeah, a good bit of traffic out there. So it was a good weekend to pick for this. Multiple settings for your edge. You can set your fixed edges. Push and hold for the filter. Set your band widths. All the way up to 3.6. Down to 50. Default is set for 250 here. Zero beat in using the auto tune on CW. She didn't speak like that when I first got her. She did? No. Speaking Japanese? Yes, sir. <laughs> and I had to turn on my 7610 to be able to step through the menus to find where to switch everything. Here we go, DR mode. Right now it's still got the uh, Japanese repeater list in it. Mm -hmm. So we were talking earlier about your 51. Actually, I'm going to turn the scope off. Gives it a little bit bigger screen. Navigate through. It's going to really confuse it. I told it near repeaters. Uh -huh. So no repeater yeah. found. Yeah. And that, that is a key thing. When you build your database, you've got to make sure that you got the GPS uh, information in it. Because if you don't have the GPS coordinates, it's not going to know what is near to you. Right. In the DR mode. So the fact that D-Star is built in there too, that's a, that's a huge bonus. Small enough to pack in your bag, your carry-on bag. Right. With a small antenna, you got all the modes. You can work D-Star. Um, you can take your hotspot if you need to, or work off the repeaters. Um, play a little with HF stuff. So looking at the speaker microphone, there's two separate leads. Okay. Instead of it being one molded yeah. lead. And what's great about that is you can use the speaker in the radio, 
while using the speaker mic plugged into it. Okay. Oh, okay. Or you could plug a headset up to it if you want. Y yes, sir. We're going to go in here, menu, set, my station. N five Z N O. So now you're in there. That makes it official. It's got my name in it. Yeah, right. Go ahead, take off the transmit message. Or oh, wait a minute. Let's go put something in here. Bummer. No apostrophe. No apostrophe. Not Tommy's radios. Every That's every where I was going with that one. I saw that coming. All right, give it her a shot, Tommy. N five Z N O. This is Tommy. Tommy N five Z N O. Stop my radio. radio yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Ten meters. I think that was up in the FM portion of the van, away from everybody contesting. So when we go into the set mode, a couple other things that we haven't seen before, and in the previous one was disabled. Yeah, I remember that. Wireless lands on. Connection settings, network name. We want to do it as an access point. It didn't take long, did it? No, it didn't. So tell us what, what the access point actually does, right? Well, it's looking for an access point to, to your wireless LAN system. Okay. So at my hotel, it came up with a hotel guest. I could connect that way. Okay. Yeah, so if I turn on my hotspot on my phone here, you you want to do that? Yeah, go ahead and show that. You should see me there. TM. That's it. There you go. Awesome. And then what you'd do is you'd select that one, you'd put in the password information, and then tell it to connect. So it reverted back to mine. So what's that going to do for me? So what you can do at that point is we go menu, screen number two, the DV gateway. You've got a choice of terminal mode, access point mode. Set it up to go to terminal mode. And now it will say it's terminal mode for the international gateway. Then we can come back here go to DV, tell it to go to normal mode, and now it's looking for a repeater. Okay. And when you go to set that up, right. in your internal gateway settings, that's where you set up what your gateway that you're registered on. You need to make sure that you've got a terminal set up for uh, terminal mode and access point mode. So now we've got the GPS is on and locked. We've got wireless LAN connected. Let's go in here and set. I didn't need to shift that around. Tommy, you and I were talking yesterday. Does that one look familiar? Yeah, it looks pretty much like the one I've got at the house I've had for years. The keyword for years. Years, yeah. This one drops out at 4.2.2, or I think that one... It was right before the Kit Kat, so it was Jelly Bean. Oh, wow. So that's how old the OS is on it. Yeah. It, that's it will pair to the 705, mm -hmm. but will not do rig control with it. Oh, yeah. So I, I had, don't use mine much anymore. I because. had to go get an, another tablet that would do the later versions of the Android OS. So not all Android tablets are created equal either. So save yourself some frustration, an excuse to go get a new tablet, new toy. We're it, always usually looking for an excuse anyway. And it was frustrating. I, I had uninstalled, reinstalled, thinking, okay, something was going on. It would not yeah. download the latest. And then realize the operating system. It would still download and say it might not be compatible with your device, but it was limited to the version so this one was a t420 and now the new one's a t510 okay
So it asks for the passkey and security. So it says connection failed, and that's because I don't have the app brought up. Okay, so. You got a good base? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I guess. All right, go go ahead and tap the uh, the right hand. I mean the left hand side. Hello. Okay, push and hold it then. In five zero. And so yes. is the the button that you tap there. Is that the one you would normally do to answer a call? Yes, sir. Okay. You push and hold it to key the radio, and then tap it. Okay, Tommy, you remember when we were playing around when the RS MS1A first came out, we were playing around with controlling the radios? Oh, yes, sir. Sure. My older tablet works wonderful for the ID51A. So what we're going to do is we're at 146. We're controlling the radio. We're going to go to the share pictures section and press and hold for one second. We're going to use the camera. Done. Saving the picture. All right, Tommy. Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to stand by for before you send it. I'm going to go menu. We go to picture mode. You know what size I want? Whatever size that you want, sir. I'll just pick the middle one here. Standard quality. Middle size. All right. Start transmitting. There you go. You can see it's kind of running down through yeah. each one of the little blocks. But now... This we can save to the SD card on the radio. But one of the nice things about this, say you had interference, all you'd have to do is transmit the same image again and it will fill in the deleted pixels. But still, that was pretty quick of a... Yeah, that was, pr that was very fast. Thanks for letting me come and play in the park with you guys. It well, is. Th thanks for coming. We always enjoy it and uh, appreciate you bringing the toys to play with been a good time. Yeah, any opportunity to play radio, especially new radio, and this time uh, new accessories too. Well, while you guys are playing around with the antennas over there, I made sure the 705 got my backpack. Yeah, I don't think I didn't notice that. Yeah, you might want to check that again before you leave to Texas. <laughs> Make sure it gets locked <laughs> in their truck very well. All right. Well, we'll pr we appreciate it, Ray. We'll see you hopefully sometime soon. All right. Hopefully we'll have air conditioning next time. Yeah. Uh, let's so, on yeah. That. It, yeah. It felt good out here as long as the wind was blowing, but about an hour and a half ago when it was time to start tearing down all the antennas, the wind stopped blowing. Yeah, well, that's when we turn the fans off. So. <laughs> yeah.